Hey, what's going on everyone? So I made a previous video talking about my full student notability setup if you are entering university. And this video is kind of be, you know, taking that to the next level and how you can go from essentially being a beginner notability user to a pro user. Now, notability has been releasing a lot of new features and there's so many things that you could take advantage of and that you could actually unlock with their new notability plus feature, downloading templates. And don't worry about that now, I'm gonna explain that in this video. So if you wanna learn how you could unlock all these cool features in notability and take advantage of them in your own studies for this upcoming year, then definitely keep watching the video. Now we'll be dividing this video into five different sections. The first section is what is notability. The second section is downloading notes that other people have made in the past. Third, we'll be talking about notability plus and all the cool features that it has. And finally, we'll be talking about the notability favoriting option that you could actually start using in your own studies. So first we're gonna be talking about what is notability. Very simple, Notability is a note-taking you know, app on the iPad that you could use for class. There are other apps out there that are amazing. The one that I like is Notability, but there is Good Notes. I think there's Evernote. There is, there's a good amount, but what I prefer is Notability. Notability is very simple to use. You could basically set dividers for your courses. You can see I have Waterloo 2B term, winter 2022, and then my actual subjects with all the notes that I have for each of those classes. Very simple, I can open any of the notes, write on any of them, change the color, erase, I could highlight, I could circle something if I wanna move it, or I can even make it, sm uh, or I could duplicate it as well. And if I come here and turn it into the square lasso feature, I can actually make these things smaller and larger. You can also record your lectures at the top right over here. You just click record and now Notability is recording me or if you're in class, it's actually recording that lecture. So when you come back to review your notes, you can find it all available on Notability. I have a full walkthrough of Notability already on my channel, so I would definitely recommend looking at that. But for all those people um, that have already watched those videos, let's just continue on with how to actually download other notes that people have made for your own studies. Some of the features I'm gonna be talking about in this video actually require you to have the paid app. Now, Notability, there's two different versions. There's the free version and the Notability Plus version. Now, since I actually bought Notability two years ago, before there was the free app and the paid app, I bought the paid app, which gave me access to all these features. I would recommend you buy it too. It's not very expensive. It's $15 yearly. But I want you guys to think about these $15. I know, you know, things on the app store, whenever anything is above a dollar, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so much money. But think about what you use $15 on. That's like a, a lunch out. That's like, you know, getting a couple drinks with people. That could be, you know, like buying a t-shirt, you know, something that you don't use on a daily basis. When it comes to notability, something you're gonna be using every day for hours for school. $15 is really nothing for this note-taking system. Think of all the papers, pens, pencils, highlighters, erasers that you would have to buy. All, not, not to mention, you know, all those things in your back that put a strain on your back. This $15 is not big when it comes to, you know, how big of an impact it'll actually have on your life. So I would recommend definitely going and, you know, paying that $15 subscription yearly for it. What we're gonna discuss now is downloading notes other people made. So at the top right of your screen, you're actually gonna find something, it's kind of like this icon and it says new on it. Click on it and you actually have access to all these other notes that people have made and you can actually download them yourself. For example, MSK Condensed, that's muscu musculoskeletal system condensed. You know, Kish Kebab made this and they uploaded it for other people to use. It's very simple, I could either download it as a PDF or a note. I'll download it as a note. Let's see how it looks. Let's open it in the app. And now I have access to this note that Kish Kebab had made um, and I could use it for my own studies. I'm not sure where the note went. There we go. Here's the note. I could even edit it myself if I wanna add anything. I could zoom in and I could tell that it's very, very detailed. This is very good for people that are in programs that have classes that are commonly taken with a lot of people. For example, genital chemistry or microbiology or anatomy. I'm sure you'll be able to find a note here and there for the course you're taking, which will save you a lot of time. Now, I wouldn't recommend just taking these notes and just, you know, using them, whatever, you know, whatever is here, you just use it fully. I would recommend you add your own corrections, you add your own notes, just so you can make it personalized, which will also help you when you're studying. Let's see what else they have. I could even organize it into topics. So we said that the, what I just did was class notes. Maybe I wanna, you know, I don't know, let's see. I wanna make a template for school for my planner. Let's see if there's something. Here we go, weekly schedule. Very simple, look how quick it was for me to find this. I can save the template, I view the template, let's create it. 
And now I can start using the template. Maybe on Monday, I have a bio exam and maybe Tuesday, we'll do day off and Wednesday. Well, it's kind of blocked out, but Wednesday, let's say uh, workout, work out plus study and we'll do physics. Excuse my unorganization, but you get the idea and how you could play around with this so much, especially um, you know with your schedule. If it starts to get really hectic, this is a very good way to organize your schedule. The next thing we're going to talk about is Notability Plus. Now there are some you know very overlapping features with Notability Plus and downloading these templates, and I'll show you how that now. At the bottom left of your screen, you're going to find this pencil with a plus icon on it. You're going to click it and here is Notability Plus and everything that it offers. I'm going to go through each one of them, you know, step by step, just so you can get a full understanding of what each of them are. The featured one is something that you've used or something that you've looked at before and you have it with you already. So for me, at least I have this grow journal I've downloaded it before. So that's why it's on this feature section. Themes is the different themes that you could actually have for your Notability. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want to download this fall theme. I download it and I close it. Then I go to settings because it's a theme, right? I go to settings, I scroll down and now I can find it. Here's my full theme. And now I just change the whole theme of notability. Look how nice this looks versus before, you know, this is very vibrant. You know, this might even help your mental health. If you notice even here in the dividers, we have, what is it? What are those? Um, coconut? No, not coconuts. Rec uh, da, 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 nuts. Oh, I forgot the name of them. Squirrels. The things that scrolls, you know, get off the tree, I forgot its name, but they're all over here. I could even change the theme to something I had before, which is winter. Now, if you look, the icons for it are the winter theme, and it just makes Notability look so much better. This is just one of the things that you could have for Notability Plus. Let's go to technology. Handwriting recognition. This is a, something that only Notability Plus has. I wouldn't say it's 100% useful, but it's definitely come in handy when I've written things on my notes uploaded it as a PDF to my computer and search in that PDF. What Adobe could actually do is access your own handwriting and find what you wrote. You could also do that here on Notability. Let me give you an example. I'll write YouTube and I'll write it in, oh, I spelled that wrong. I'll write it in printing, YouTube, and I'll write it in cursive, YouTube. As you can tell, my cursive is not amazing. Now I'll come here, I'm gonna search the note, and I'm gonna search YouTube. What do we find? It found YouTube. Yeah, I didn't find my cursive one because I guess, like I told you, the writing wasn't very good, but it was able to find my printing one. And that's just a really nice feature. If you're trying to find something that you wrote before, you could search it up. Hopefully your writing is better than mine, so Notability can actually find that feature. Planner, here is where things get interesting. And this really depends on the individual and what type of planner you want, you have. So I'll just go simple, 2022 Digital Life Planner. Let's open this up and see what happens when I download it. Let's open this Digital Life Planner. Uh, let's make it, uh, we'll do Sunday start and we'll do Navy, create note and unfiled. Now we have this planner and look, all the pages are all already here. Every single page, I could scroll through all of them and change what I want and see everything. Let's go to the beginning and we have my whole planner. I could play around with it however I want. You know, I'm sure you guys will do so much more than what I'm doing right now, but you have the, uh, you know, the option to do so much more. Let's keep going. We have stickers, some stickers that you can use in apps. Let me download one of the stickers. Uh, manage, I think I added those stickers over here. Let's go to one of my uh, notes and let's see how can I add these stickers. Oh, at the top right here. So here I have the stickers and we'll go to, I don't know, my digital life player. Oh, it comes with stickers too. Let's add that one. Here I have a sticker and let's add another one. Let's go to the one, the cozy critters one that I just had. Here's another sticker. I wouldn't say they're 100% useful, but it's really nice to, to at least have this option to play around with. Let's keep going. And our worksheets. So this is just, I guess, worksheets for kids where you could fill them in. A very simple thing. The final thing I want to talk about, very simple thing. You could actually favorite at favorite notes now. If you favorite them, what it will do is it'll actually create a favorite section where you can come to these notes and find them right away. So I come to the favorite notes, they're all over here. That's really all this video is. It's just a quick explanation of how you can unlock so many features with Notability and how it can make your life so much easier for only $15 a year. Think about those $15 and how you spend your own money and how this will make a very big impact on your school life and your own life. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below in the comments. Take care and take it easy.